Hello everyone, Senate Beast here. Welcome back to the seventh game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This is it. The last game in Game 7 will happen here with the LA Kings and the Oilers back at Crypto.com Arena. And standing by, we have this Mi Phone along with Fan. And in the center ice, we have this Light Phone. This will be the last part of a game in the first round of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs before we head into the second round. As for the second round, with just a couple days behind it, we will have the next part of the game underway that we are about to be seeing. After the game of the NBA, then the first part of the game will be happening here with the Bolts against the Bruins at TD Garden Arena. Following along with the next game, as of right now on the other side, we got another one to keep you on here as we are keeping these out of the range here. We've got the Avalanche and the Minnesota Wilds here at the two our tougher locations of the angle as we're about to be seeing what could go hard on the better lookout chain to keep out there from the deck. It may not be that tough than you ever think, but the Oilers, they've won against the Kings here back in game number six and they move themselves on in the next round. This is how hard it is because they have never really kept it off like they are clean. This is it. Win, do or die. Oilers or Kings. Let's get started. Meepone, it's all yours. Enjoy the last game of the first round of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. And I'll be back with the post game show. See you all after the third period. Hello everyone, me phone here, and right now as we're about to be saying that this is the final game here for the Oilers and the Kings. We've been really appreciate to everyone who is supporting and watching this game here on Son of Beast. We really appreciate your support. And right now, this is totally it. We are down the last line. And this is where it all comes down to at Crypto.com Arena. Oilers and Kings, let's get started. With my broadcasting crew of fan and the center ice is light, light bulb, this is the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Here we are, time to rattle it up. Right now, here's Hyman towards the right around towards the zone. The starting goaltenders as being here as follows, we have his Corpus Allo. And on the other side, we have his, we have his Samuel Skinner. He's a starting goaltender here for the Edmonton Oilers here for tonight. Now, the better say here for Skinner because he was really like well to try to pick up the run. The better play at this advantage has turned out to be one of a successful range. The ever say that this was very that difficulty to try to keep it over right from around the angle. They all say because this tough ones is really keeping things over and above. They really are good players. Not everyone's favorite, but their choices, they really are doing a lot of better players than they can. And that's what they do, they do it the best. Here's Kemp towards the outside. Kempe in the middle. Shot blocked by Cece. Kempe will try to recover the puck here and battling for the puck on the boards. Kicks it across. Yamamoto's got the puck here right towards the wing. On the attacking zone, Yamamoto. Yamamoto trying to look over it again. New York Kings! Stopped by Corpus Allo. 17 bit 19 to go in that first period. And we're still scoreless in the game. Coming up later, for this one, we got another face off. Roy now swings to Fiala. Fiala towards the wing. Try to look over towards, but Bochard recovers it. Now finds Trisidal. Trisidal right out towards the right wing. That went up high and hits the glass. Here's the number eight. Yamamoto, Lucian Hopkins. That's the Butcher. Stop it, Corpus Allo. Roy with the puck now, whirling down the 16 20 to go in the first period. That's broken up. Yamamoto recovers it over to Nugent Hopkins. He gives it over to Butcher. Butcher lost the puck. Do go has it right away. And back to Butcher. Wow, there are a lot of plays in between. Those back to back switches for the stick poke check 
They really have nothing else to try to keep him out of here. They just gotta find somebody else and try to, like, smash it out. They can't lose anybody. That's because if nobody has it all, they're just trying to, like, lose it. Uchara gets smashed up by Fiella. Fiella to Villardi. Stopped by Skinner, and it will hold the puck with 15.02 to go in the first period. Now both players are ready to get hydrated and now ready for the faceoff. Still scoreless in this game. Here's another one for Boberg. Boberg over to Jamar. Jamar with the puck. Shot stop again by Corbisalo. Rebound two time stop. Here's Ifala right towards the back of the wing. Lizette. Passes the Ifala. I fell towards the wing on the outside. The middle! Ranging now is Skinner. Skinner's doing really well to try, try to like, keep him out of the range. The better on the side team, it just didn't really work that well. Try to maintain the run if you can keep your eyes on it. Bumped up across. Used to the jersey. Jersey to Velarde. Velarde in the wing. Shot! Stud love save here by Skinner. He will grab the puck with only 13.25 left to go in the first period. About to get settled, ready for the faceoff. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still scoreless in this game. Here's Cece. Passes to Nurse. Darnell Nurse over to Shore. Shore over again to Ryan. Ryan passes. Costa recovers it. Costa shot stop again here by Corpus, Corpus Allo. Ryan shot stopped away. Kupari with the puck. Trying to battle it with a loose puck. Anderson grabs it away and down he has one. Down he over to Anderson Dolan. Back to Collier. Shot! It stopped out. Pass to Anderson Dolan. Bumped it out. Kupari! Skinner save! They're all going for Skinner. He really done one of the best displays in this game. Can never slow down, they really wanted to do it. CC shot blocked. Doughty has the puck here now, right towards around the net. And Daraisaito has the one. That save here by Corbisolo. Can pay to Kopitar. Now Doughty has it. Here on the wing, Doughty bumped up. Yamamoto with the rebound. Kopitar in the middle. Oh, that's a big stop save here by Skinner. Dreisaitl with the puck. Now winning inside. Dreisaitl stopping here by Pat save. Dreisaitl can't find anybody. Dowdy smashes up in the neutral face-off zone. Dreisaitl lost the puck. CC will try to carry out from the back and now we'll swing it in. Okay. Shot! Glove saved by Corbizalo. They're saying that Corbizalo has given up a good shot. Without John Quick, that season could be an end of this run. That may have to be a very tough to keep an eye on it. It may be tough, but no one had it all. Dunault wins the faceoff. On the back, running around the other side. McDavid. I'm in! Way too quick and right around the back of the net. Arvidsson over there to Null. Here's to Null. Smashes up across. McDavid. Lost the puck. Bouchard. Fiala. In the middle. Skinner save. Down to under nine minutes to go in the first period. Still looking for a score to keep it from here. Now into the offense zone. This Skinner is putting up a lot of saves here. Now tied up in the faceoff zone. Gavrikov, Seth McGarry to go by Skinner. Bouchard will have the puck over to Jamar. Jamar fires it around the net. Now Gavrikov to Lizette. Roy over to Villardi. Villardi towards the wing in the middle. That's blocked up by Bouchard. Now here's McCoy. McCoy firing around the net. Gavrikov over to Roy. Roy finds Lizette. 
finds Velarde. Velarde trying to leave it over to Lizette. Shot stop! Bonus save by Skinner! But Skinner is putting up a great drive at this point. A lot of saving and inbounding. They're just going to keep it going. Now they're ready for another timeout attack. As this one is only 7.34 to go in the first period of game. Winning in the puck is Dreisaitl. Dark. Sorry about that one here. It's uh, it's Dorsey or anybody. Dreisaitl for go. Rogel but lost the puck. Gorbazala will hold the puck here with a save. Now they will have a puck here with under seven minutes to go in the first. And you're keeping an eye here on that one here. Coming up for the next part of the event, we have the first game here as right now for Wednesday's matchup for the Pride Time Night. As we were about to be seeing what we could do here for the next part of the game. Great save by Corvazzolo. First game that will be happening here will be the Bolts and the Bruins here on Wednesday night for the first game. And then following along with the second game, we've got another one to keep an eyes on cover here as the Kraken takes on against the winning team. That will be happening in between the zones by Canes or Oilers. Following along with the next game on Friday, that will be happening on that will be happening at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. tonight as we're about to be hearing the next part of the game. The Kraken and, sorry about that one, the Avalanche and the Wilds. That will be happening here at 9.30 p.m. and at 7 p.m. will be the Hurricanes and the Rangers battling back in Carolina section. Keep your eyes peeled. That will be happening here next couple games. Every Wednesday, every Fridays. There might be a little bit change on days if necessary. Only on Son of Peace. New Jersey carries offside and goes to Los Angeles. 5.06 to go in the first period. Dreisaitl has a McConnor McDavid is looking for his better way with his fast wheels in this game. This mostly has proven to be one of the fast wheels in this game. Putting up a higher drive, the better transition, they are trying to keep it over right from the deck. The coverage of this one here is, is keeping it on, a, on the loose of a setup. And its wheels, it's tough to be clean, and its wheels are tight. He can go fast, he can go harder, and that's what his goal is. Rally for the loose puck. Try to keep it out from the net, and now we'll over again to Velarde for Yala shot, stop by Skinner. Rebound a puck by CC Decay. Deep pass to Hyman. Hyman around the two man defenders. Rolling into CC. Shot blocked. Did you not get towards the outside? Over to Notes. 318 left to play in the first period finds Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins right towards the wing. After the, uh, the dry side, oh, Dursey takes it over. Kopitar swings it up her again. Yamamoto will have it away. Back to, back to Nurse. Nugent Hopkins shot blocked away. Towards the wall and it's now carried out. Kicks the puck to Walker. 2.20 left to go in the first period and Kempe will take it over. Shot goes tipped wide. Kempe, oh, getting a push out of here. Nurse is trying to hold on to it to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl lost the puck as Kopitar grabs a rebound. Back to Kopitar. Cece has it across to Fogel. Fogel right towards the center to Dreisaitl. And Jersey has it recovered. I follow right over again. Wow! Big bang in a low moment. Bochard right over it again to Dreisaitl. Fogel down to a minute of play in the first period. Offsides the call on Edmonton. Lots of time left to play in this period. Still no score in this one. They're trying to get a goal here in the first period. Eighth, fifth, that will be their eighth faceoff wins for the LA Kings. But now it goes out of play, off the glass, and in the ice.
McCoy will turn it over to Bouchard. Goes right around the net. Los Angeles has the puck as now Dowdy gives over to Velarde. 30 seconds for the for the regular period. Elkholm to Fogel. Dowdy recovers it. Anderson with the puck now again to Velarde. Velarde! The wing! Pass broken up. McCloy. Plus Bidar, stopped by Corbazzolo. And with just one more left to pick the face up win, and that'll be the end of the first period. So that will be said, still no score in the endless part of the first period. There are a lot of great attackers. We'll be right back after this. Hey guys, Son of Beast here. As of right now, if you have your tickets here for at the Sabian Media Center, we still have a couple available seats here for the for the show at 11:30 p.m. and 5:30 p.m. at night. As we're about to be seeing what happens now between each shows of the of your spots, and you will be seeing every show at each location from your start. If you're in Gerald W. Lynch Theater, only the screening only will matter because other tickets are sold out. And you only have a few more chances left if you'd like to go check out the BFDI and the Inanimate Sandy Experience. That's right, don't miss this one out. If you haven't watched the trailer, go ahead. I have the calling card up there. So make sure you go click that one now. Plus, we are definitely saved. We've got a lot of great ones, and I am able to make your casting your votes, viewers. You have your chance to pick your teams for next season in season number three of NHL 24. Yes, that's right, because the next part of the game will be on to take it from here and be ready for the next part of the game for the next matchup. And so like I just said here before, leave a comment down here below which team you want to see them facing here on NHL and EA Sports. It doesn't have to be the Edmonton King Oilers or the Kings. It doesn't have to be like that one here. It can be any teams like here that are playing each other. If you're choosing the same teams after the Rangers versus the Kings, Rangers then the Devils, um, that will not that will officially not count because that will not count for the second teams. We will, I will not accept their second time, second time, uh, second chance for the LA Kings or the Rangers here for the for the start of the next game because that will not be included to do a retake. So that's it. Only 16 games that will happen a year in different teams that I will keep an eyes on for. So once again, make sure you post down a comment bullet box below, and I'll send you over to the uh, on the social media story. In between a range. Once again, that is that is your your tickets here at the Sabian Media Center for the BFDI and the Anime Sandy Meetup. Nope, to experience at the AnimeSandy.com slash tickets, and you can be the next one here. Enjoy the show and cast your votes now for the next team face-offs of the matchup in next season of NHL 24. Now back to me, phone. All you. Welcome back to the second period of the Crypto.com Arena. And this time we were all set for the second period. No scores yet in the period here. Let's start with you, their fan. A full statistic run. They're very uh, just getting out of here because they don't have enough to try to like keep it out of sight. The range is putting up too much trouble. I mean, this doesn't really happen to us. It really has to be turned out very bad, but the higher it goes, the more better they play. Not really a tough one that everyone was keeping it over. And I know that this was a very tough one to try to keep it out of the range. This really could definitely say that everyone likes it. You know, definitely everybody. AJ Kemp on the fast break. Bam across to the board. McDavid. Here the inside, move around, and Corbisalo with the save. We'll have the puck with only 18.05 left to go. Nope, the play still continues. 
and Kempe, shot stop again by Skinner. Try to reach it over again, and Skinner stops save. Cece to Yamamoto, over to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl passes to Jim Hopkins. Shot stopped by Corpozalo. That's really going to give out when a higher range this happens. See, they never really cut that thing right towards along the way. Dreisaitl has a one tape to tape feed zone ability that we're trying to give him up the runner man, man advantage. He can try to keep it over with the passes, and this run can try to like keep it over from the range out of sight. But don't be a reminder of how well he will do, because he will take you down for the next. Dreisaitl lost the shot, and it goes off the target. This cover call with the puck. Now finds Denault. Denault on the fast break move. Denault shot stopped by Skinner. 16-20 to go with the second period of the game. It's still tied up. Now onto the face-off zone. Zone. It's still a Kings 0 and Everton 0. Lowry wins the face-off Gavrikov. Finds a look. Elkholm. Yamamoto, right to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl getting a little bumped up again. Shot stopped Bay by Jones. Looking over again, we have his Roy. Roy, try to beat it off to Lizette. Lizette in a quarter. Make a round of move. Shot stopped Bay by Skinner. Lizette trying to like keep him out of here. This range keeps it going. Now finds that quote. Now over again. Boom. Goes down in the endo. Look at the Bouchard. To Jamar. Jamar. Oh, at the goalpost. That close one of a call. It's going to have to make that one in there. You know, and it's successful. It doesn't really happen to us. Fire on the, fire on the boards. Try to make another uh, two changeups here. Another angle. Oh, hello! Now that's a big collision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely saying big collisions. Gotta watch it. Up where you're guarding it to. Here's the mark. Over again, right on the outside. Tries to recoup the puck. Anderson with the puck. Finds Dowdy. Dowdy back to Kupari. Kupari right around again. Sternaja. And a save here. Comes up here. And goes off target wide. Evan Fournier still continues. Now here's Anderson. 2 15, 12 15 left to go in the second period of the game. Here's Fiala around the other side. Taking his time with the shot. Blocked away here and Broberg with the puck. Now here's another one. Costin. Costin right over to Fiala. Ryan trying to like go it all over again. And now again, but they put back in. Kulak has his goal. They have a one to nothing lead. I guess that put back in just to turn out it must have been successful already. Because you can't just really like say, oh, we just give up here with the, the shorthanded goal. Because that was very not good enough at all. Now he passes the nurse. Nurse again to Hyman. I've been passing it over again to McDavid and he's offside the whistle. Now with those two in the players, it's still a one game in between the Lakers. No, it's a one to nothing on the Oilers and the Kings. Use by field. Shot stopped made by Skinner. Ballet along with a loose puck. Everybody trying to get rid of him. McDavid to Hyman. 
Oilers trying to look over with the run. And stop made here again by Tuck. Kuberzal. Now an overway for Hyman. Shot stopped. Left save by Kuberzal. Moving for 12.50. 9.45 left to go in the second period. Now they're doing this one here again for the second time. This keeps on happening. It's still a 1-0 lead for Everton Oilers. Now again, done. Trying to reach it across here. Now here's Byfield. Trying to move it across the cap. Now we're again with the top. Stop made by Skinner. Under nine minutes to go, past the midway period. Yamamoto with the puck. Hugh Jenkins with the puck. Try to roll it around. Now again, Hugh Jenkins. Stop again by American Express. Last stop made here by Skinner. Trying to look for the two on one. Last stop by Corbizolo. Got pretty good timing out there. Just keeping up the work, the job well done. Yeah, it's definitely true because this was very not great. How fantastic is it? Very, very legit. And you. But now, here's Garakar. Some minutes to go in the first period of the game. Now they're ready to do another face-off again. The score for the hit for Edmonton is only 19. On the other side we have is Villardi. You gotta get packed up already. Here's like follow. Six ten to go in the second period of the game. Try to pass it over, but sure what to take over. Try to reach it across. The yellow shot, and he scores. They are now tied up by one. Kevin Viala with the first goal of the playoffs in game seven. Oh yeah, that's what you wanted to do because Kevin Viala is wide open with the net. We don't want to say, hey, this is very that bad. If you twist it that way, it's not going to be a corner. But I'm not recording anyway, so... Trying to make a move out of it, and stop again by Skinner. On to the next one. Now on the belly bounce right now, we have a Zach Hyman. Penalty kill is on Edmonton Oilers. This could be a win to gain a lead for the power play goal. Well, I'll play on that one. And a shot stopped by Skinner. Skinner's going to hold it from here with under two minutes to play in the first half of the period. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still glad you could join us. Now and over again. Now 
we know uh, Try to move it across and Skinner will hold the puck over to rebound. Down nine rounds with three minutes left to play in the first the second period of the game. And the score! Anze Kopitar, your team's up in front. Yeah, I was saying that Anze Kopitar was trying to like keep him out of here, but I just saw, I was looking at it, I was like, wait, there's a goal. I saw that rebound, it was right in there. And now you know it, and Anze Kopitar and her team are back up in one. Try cycle, stop by Kopitar. We're holding up with 3.25 left to go in a second period. It's a 2 and one game, ready for the faceoff. Now they're ready to do this one again. It's 2-1, that's right now the Kings are in front of the head. Roy rolling it over into the wing. That's to Byfield. Trying to move it across here to Echo. Now finds Dreisaitl. Pass broken up. Kept over to Byfield. Byfield right towards on again to Bochar. Bochar to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins looking towards his open man offense. Shot. Oh, off again. Good stop by Kubazala. Hell right! Roy save! Dry side again to Echo. Dry side with the shot and glove save by Kubazala. We're coming down to near two minutes to play in the first, second quarter, second period of the game. Right now it's still a 2 1 game for the Kings over Oilers. Now, Kup now Kupitar will try to like give, it, give the puck back to him. Roy over to Kempe. Kempe into his wing. To the center. Stop by Skinner. Skinner was doing it all the time by himself. He may have been just asking, what if I can't do anything? I would get himself a uh, call right handed. Maybe I want to try to pull him by. Save me my corpus Oh boy, this is another biggest part of the uh, disasters we're saying. A lot of great rebounds. Yeah, definitely true because everyone really knows that for sure. They're just trying to like keep it going from here. Here's Roy with the buck. Passes again to Arvidsson. Now on the offensive side. Just down to a minute to play in the second period of the game. McDavid passes over to get to Hyman. Hyman towards the wing and bumps down and goes down down to the end of. Arvidsson right with the where the puck right around the net is used to be. Now Gavrikov over to Byfield. 15 seconds of the power play. Trying to look for some room. Byfield. Shot stopped by Skinner. Only with four seconds to go in the second period. Nearing down this wire, we're almost done. I got to watch the null. He was bumbled up. It didn't really try to say what could happen. I guess that it's very that tough. A clean end did happen to all of them. We will keep your eyes here on Dunell to make sure he's alright and ready to be back on ice. Here's Cece. Up. McCloy. And that will end the second period. This is what Kopitar really has gotten. A goal and up in a lead. Be right back after this. This is the third period of the Kings and Oilers. We hope you enjoyed everybody watching here for the second day of the Kings and Oilers here for Game 7. Back with the last game, as we have seen the Kraken moving on to the second round for the first time in the EA Sports franchise history. And this time, we might be finding out who we'll be playing against. 
it might be determined to be in between the Oilers of the Canadian team or the or the American team of the Los Angeles Kings. And right now, this is it. We all come down to the last wire in the third period. Skinner's going to hold it here with under 19 minutes to go in the third. And if you're just sticking around here for some tickets here, we still have you covered here left. And so you can check us out here at the anime.com slash tickets to get yours today. And it's happening here at the Sami Media Center. Not here from right from Grimthar.com Arena, if you guys remembered it from last year, that we did have the meeting, and we did enjoy that one here. Well, as everybody would say, a bunch of fans are really are excited to, because everybody really loves it. They really wanted to say that we can go for another planning. Maybe another one can be happening here. But right now, for this part of the season, it's going to happen very big. We're going to love that one here. We're going to see how well they do in between the BFDI TBRT and across from here, the Season 3 of the Inanimate Sandy Invitational. So yes, that's right. If you like to get your tickets now, go to inanimatesandy.com once again. We still have some tickets available here in, in the Sabian Media Center. But if you're in the New York State, unfortunately all the tickets are out, so you only have to proceed with the 2 p.m. screening only. Anderson has the puck right now as the LA Kings are back on offense. Battling for the loose puck. Joy Sadel! What a stop by Corpus Allo! Diallo with the puck. Kings on the, on the attack. Right to Arvidsson. Shot stopped by Skinner. Right to Fiala over again to Doughty. Joy Sadel's got the puck here. Now in towards the offense zone. Move it to Echo, back to Puchar. Over to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins rolling in to Echo. Show it! That's stepped out. Rory with the puck. Trying to move it across here towards the offense zone. Here's the note. Finds Viola. Viola! Oh, he put it back, back down. Denote racing and looking over. And pass is broken up. Nugent Hopkins backing over again to Jamar. At home, right towards the other side. Around the man. To the corner. Bouchard stopped by Corpozolo. Corpozolo's got a pretty good save because they were saying that before. They're doing it again and again. But however, don't be letting the other players get over us. They're really on a good team. They're just going to try to like keep on battling for the puck for the loose. And they are really that aggressive. Here's Shamar back in the offense zone. Looking to go for it. Oh, stopped again by the goaltender. They're looking all over the place. Los Angeles lost the puck, and now it's Jamar with the puck. The Oilers regain the group. In his own, Jamar. Lines for Joe and shot, even deflected right toward the glass. Bojo. Here's a shot with the rebound stop made by Corbizalo. The Kings are out back into the offense zone to pick up their run. Villardi, round him back in, rebound scores! What is that? That's a little goal in the playoffs of the zone. It's set now 3-1. They're saying what Lazak was doing because he had that rebound after Villardi. Now he wants to give it over to Lazak. They have it all down on the board. Extended 3-1 over the Edmonton Oilers. CeCe has the puck. Now back to Ryan. Oh, he went been bailing out of here. Kupari right to Kalea. Shot goes off, and it goes out of play. Now both players are set, ready to take the inbounding. They have a one tough lead to take over another. It's a 3-1 lead for the LA Kings. Sketchy, now CeCe will have one over to Ryan. Ryan towards Costin. Shot! Stop by Corbizalo. They'll get ready for another faceoff with only 12-18 left to go. Now they're ready to do another offense zone and a heavy rush on offensive run on the board. Kabari wins the face off. 
Los Angeles has their puck now, right over to Kupari. He gives it over to Kaliev. Kaliev looking it over. Nurse! Try and pull it away from the other, other side of the defensive player. Kose behind it to CC. Good save by Corpozalo. He's going to hold it from here with only 11.34 to go in the third period. Now they're back in offense, ready to pick up their stride. They still have a lot of advantage here for Edmonton Oilers. Shooting crazy and wanting to pick up a two point two consecutive games to beat against the LA Kings. They were really on a harder run attack. But not for long. They are just going right around it. Yeah, it's pretty sure. The better of this one here, as we are definitely talking about it, they really are putting in a lot of effort. They've done so much of the offense that they were wanting to like try to refuse to give it up. But they did not. All they have now is nothing. They never really caught anything. They just, they just don't have anybody else to go with the offense. It's just too hard to maintain. So that one, it really has to be a, a better uh, taking offense run. Kempe right towards the wing. In the center of the no zone, McDavid takes the puck away. Battle for loose puck, now Hyman back to Nurse. The Oilers are in offense zone. Kane on the back end. Over to McDavid. Shot. Rebounded it up. Stopped by Corpozalo. What a play making here. And Corpozalo will keep it going again and again. And right now, Dowdy will have the puck here to Anderson. Anderson right over to Kempe. Past the midway period in the mark or the third, as right now Kempe is in the offense zone. Eckholz gotta recover. Edmonton back the other way. Kane over again. Bumbled up in the corner. Oh, but a little boost battle. Bouchard to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl around Kopitar. And Downey has the puck back taken away. Kobatar to Kempe. Kempe lost the puck and it was Puchar trying to recover with the poke check. They really are putting a lot of poke checks here. The defensive runs are putting up a lot of hard slots in the run. They're doing it again. They gotta get this run correctly and get over this. In the attacking zone, Malardi shot stopped by Skinner. And Lizette lost the puck over in the inbounding. Changing back to Echo. Yamamoto started to cross over to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl looking to Yamamoto. Nujinov gets shot. Rebound and stopped made by Corbizalo. Now into the offense zone. Here they come. Buchar. Now racing it over towards the other side. Yamamoto recovers the puck. Seven minutes to go in the third period. Pass to Troy Seidel. What up, stop me? Luigi Napkins over again to Yamamoto. The board grip. And a delay penalty call. This will call for a slashing call on the LA Kings. Now, this is what the call is. They just really say that they were really hard on them inbounding. But Victor Arvidsson, he just couldn't believe it. Edmonton Oilers are ready to get to work on the power play run. Right now it's still 3-1. They're looking down to a, to a trail by one. Buck clears out of the zone into the into the Oilers. Oilers zone. Nurse passes, passes to McCloy. To Costin. Here's Costin. Run the breakaway shot. Stop again by Corbizalo. Roy sleeps it out. Scoop up along the board by Yamamoto. Deep pass to McCloy. McCloy looking it over. Passes to Costin. Shot! Restricted and stopped by Corpus Hollow. He's going to hold it up for the whistle here with only 5.47 to go in the third period. Now they're ready to do this one again. The score for the LA Kings is 3 to 1 over the Oilers. Roy up and over the head. 
trying to keep it going here for Nurse. Nurse back to Costin. Moves into the offense zone. Kovacov. Fired away. Sending all the way back is Yamamoto. 30 seconds for the Oilers power play. Five minutes left to play in the third period. Yamamoto to Nurse. Shot blocked away. And he clears it out. Looks like uh, you know, that Arvidsson's ready to get out of the penalty box. Pass the Kane. And the Howard Oilers are not able to make the power play goal as they have come up short and just made another good save by Corpozzolo. It's very that good. What a great run there for Corpozzolo because everybody players, they wanted to keep the puck in bounding. We never seen him going along there so far and this was a very tough and up on offensive run that they were doing. They've done a lot of it as they can do it, lots of that handling with the stick option to do this again. What a great stop by Corpozzolo. Kane! Bad save by Corbizzolo! Takes a big hit right towards the blue line. Yamamoto now into the entering zone in the Kane's territory. Boston shot! Goes down! What a bumbling play for Dowdy to knock the player out of here! That's a big smash! Oh boy, he's like he's already injured. Byfield has the puck now. Dowdy will take the air away. Dowdy lost the puck. Kane trying to go back towards the offense zone. Kane lost the puck. Dowdy over to get into Denault. Denault trying to look over with the offense run. Along the way around the net. Here's Yamamoto. McDavid with the puck. Looking for wheels. She deep shot. Got stopped made by Corbizzolo. Let's look at it one more time. Costin went down. He was trying to make the shot. But he was bumbled up already. But he has it was a stuck and brutal. He's on the bench. And hopefully he will be okay. But it won't be not enough to maintain it. And try to win the whole thing. Rosette wins the faceoff of Los Angeles. Now he moves over again to Ifollow. Ifollow stick around the handle. Shot back to Velarde, and it's off again. Mochard over to Dara Dreisaitl. Man advantage is on for the Edmonton Oilers. Glove save! What a stop by Corbisalo. The fans are going loud. Who are the fans to take on for Corbisalo? Now they're ready to do this one again. The score's still 3-1. And right now we're down to a last minute of play in the third period. Not only for the loose puck, Corbizzolo still holds on with under a minute to go. They're saying that they're wanting to keep it going right now because the Kings are definitely one of the biggest teams ever they played. There's McDavid. Bouchard blocked the shot. Come save here. Corpus is going to hold the puck here. We're under, with under one minute to go. Now they will be doing it again as long as they can. Lissette wins the faceoff. Here's Walker. Joy Seidel. Rebound the puck. McDavid. Stop again. Corpus What a remarkable run. And Walker fires it out right around the net. With under 35 seconds to go, here's McDavid over to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl, fumbled out. Lizette over to Jersey. Jersey right over here, looking for a deep shot. Went too wide. Echo right over again to Hyman. Hyman with the puck with only 15 seconds. They've got to get it done. McDavid shot, still made. Dreisaitl over again to, in the offense zone. We got the puck dump to be nine. They shut him down. Kempe and their team are moving on to the second round to play at Seattle. Now this is what everyone's talking about. The Kings beat the upset here of the disappointment of the run. That was a great job here for the Kings to keep the run going. It's been a wonderful night. 
thanks for all the fans. We salute you. Well, that's it too here. As for the end of this game, it's a great battle to be here. First round completion. Me phone along with Fan and Lightball. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night, everyone. All right, me phone. Thank you very much. The Kings advances to the next round to play against Seattle of the Sea Monsters. Let's have your look at the three star players of the game right on the line. Their first star goes out to Blake Lizette with a goal only. Made that one timer, rebounded, and then put it back in. The second star on the other hand goes out to Anze Kopitar with a goal, too. He made that one a very earlier move, but that was a slap shot, and they had that one bang right through Ron Skinner. And your first star player, Corpus Zalo, with 65 saves in the game. What a tremendous play for Corpus Zalo. He is an offensive run, and he is a hero. Better than other, on the other player from John Quick. We missed him very much that more often, but it won't be that long until Corpus Zalo will figure out for the next round of the game. Here's what I did with the last total st statistic run on the other side. 66 to 40 total, sh total shots on goal, then it's 20 hits for Edmonton and 12 for the LA Kings. 621 for Edmonton Oilers and 505 for the LA Kings. 93 percentage here for the Oilers and 88 percentage for the LA Kings. Then with the faceoff wins, 32 for the Kings and 13 for the Edmonton Oilers. Both guys have a power play penalty kill and we have a one goal power play. It's the LA Kings of Anze Kopitar. They've got that one up to a great struggling year with the, with the end here between the, the rushing and the man offense. This was a very hard and unique play, but don't get me wrong, they're really on to a great start. And a finish is what all comes down to finish up the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So that is completed. Stay tuned for the next few games. Wednesday, happening here, which will be the Bolts and the Bruins at TD Garden Arena. Following along with another game, and for a doubleheader for tonight, we have another game to take up from here. The other side of it will be happening now, as the other team will keep this thing going of the Avalanche and the Wilds at, at uh, Excel Energy Center. That will be the next part of the game to keep that one in, inbounding to do this one again. Not really too much often, but every other complaint, they could be a hard one to take the mile high or in, in Minnesota. So Wilds are at, are at Colorado for a mile high. That'll be happening here for the first game. And then, after, after two games completed, then we will head you over to the other side here, which will be happening here on Friday at 7, where the Rangers battle rematch against the Carolina Hurricanes at PNC Arena. And with the other game we have is the Kraken and the Kings here at Crypto.com Arena, which will be here first and second game before heading to Seattle at Climate Pledge Arena. Now it's time to say so long to the first round and ready for the second round. That will be happening on Wednesday and Friday. Keep your eyes peeled for new videos coming soon. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports style. This is Son of Beast. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you can find me on my social media. I'm on Instagram and TikTok. Discord coming soon. Thanks for joining with us. And have an amazing night at the LA to Los Angeles downtown. Along with the next season to get better for Edmonton Oilers. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.